Welcome back. I'm Dr. Boyd the Chemist and this is Science Made Simple. Today, we're going to learn about cohesion by doing a demonstration I like to call running water. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a piece of string that is at least 18 inches long. You'll need two cups, some water, some tape, and I'm using food coloring so that you can see the water better during the demonstration. Adhesion is the attraction between different substances, while cohesion is the attraction of a substance for itself. Today, we're gonna to demonstrate cohesion by showing that water is attracted to, well, water. Let's dive right in. Like the majority of our demonstrations and experiments here on Science Made Simple, this demonstration is very safe. No need for goggles, lab coat, or gloves. We're just using water and some string with some cups. First, cut your string the length that you want it. Now pay close attention because this is very important. You'll need to wet your string with water. It doesn't need to be soaking wet, but it does need to be damp. Now, take one end of the string and tape it to the inside of one of your cups, preferably towards the bottom. Tape the other end of the string to the top of the inside of your other cup. Now, fill your cup with water. You can also dye your water like I've done here. It'll help you to see the flow of water better. Hold the empty cup with the string taped to the bottom firmly to the table. Slowly raise the cup containing the water until the string is in a straight line. You'll want to have the cups placed diagonally from each other. Also, you'll want to make sure that the string is not touching the lip of the cup that is at the bottom. Finally, slowly begin to pour the water from the upper cup down the string. You'll want to pour slowly because if you pour too fast, gravity will take over and cause the water to spill. It's also a good idea to have some paper towel under the cups because some water will spill. Now, Watch as the water travels down the string and into the bottom cup. How is that happening? Now, that was pretty cool, but 18 inches is not that far for water to travel. So let's go bigger. I'm gonna take a cup, attach it to the fence in my backyard, put some string in it, and Take that string all the way up to my deck, 20 feet away. Then I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna pour water from this upper cup that's on my deck and see if it will travel all the way 20 feet to the cup that's attached to my fence. Let's see if this works. So the setup actually was pretty easy. I have a plastic cup, and I've used a thumbtack to tack it to my fence. Also, the string is taped to the inside of the cup, just like before. Now, keep in mind, this will work pretty well if the string is dampened. So, I wet the string up. Now, the tricky part was actually getting the water to run down the string all the way. For the first few minutes that I was doing this, the water was just dripping maybe three or four feet away from the upper cup. But eventually, the water did begin to travel all the way down the string 
into the cup that was attached to my fence. So I would say this was mildly successful. I think we got about a quarter of the water that was in the upper cup into the cup that was attached to my fence. It took a little effort and a lot of time, but we did get it to work. So using cohesion, you can transport water even long distances. I'll see you next time.